visiting and blessing my father. On the third night, I eliminated all desire from my mind. That night, I experienced a vision, nimitta, of a smooth pathway in front of me. I walked along the path. On that path, there were many outgoing footprints, but not a single one incoming. After following that path for some time, I saw a large steel door in front of me. There were four able-bodied men standing guard, each gripping either a spear or sword in his hands. Their expressions were serious and grim. I walked up to them to ask, What is this place? Where does this path lead? All four of the men acted deferentially, placing their hands in the lotus position at their chest, Vandana. They were deeply respectful. They told me, This is the door to the underworld, Yomaloka. Everyone who dies from the human world with demerit, Baba, hanging over them, must come here for questioning. They inquired of me, Venerable sir, what purpose do you have in coming here? To which I replied, I wish to know whether or not my deceased father is here. Your venerableness is presently following up on your father, they asked. I told them, that's right, I'm following up on my father. In that case, they said, please come in and ask our boss. Then the four of them opened the large steel doors and I walked in. I encountered the supervisor sitting in a chair. He was responsible for checking the accounts of all of those who died. First and last name, age, address, village, subdistrict, district, province, just like for a census, house registration, or government identification in the human world. Once I entered, the supervisor who was doing the accounting appeared slightly surprised because he did not know beforehand that a still living monk would be entering that place, but he was quite respectful. He placed his hands in the lotus position at his chest, Vandana, and said, Venerable sir, what is your purpose? I told the boss, I have something I would like to ask you. My father died many months ago. I would like to know whether or not he has come here. He asked, What is the name of your father, venerable sir? Utta Nondrusha, I replied. Then he went and picked up a book with the names of the dead. That book was about one meter thick. His finger sliced through the book and he read, Utta Nondrusha, from Ban Nong Wang, Gam Hom, Chai Wan Subdistrict, Chai Wan District. Udantani province, correct? That's right, I answered. He's still here, sir. I'd like to go see my father. Would that be possible? I inquired. The supervisor responded, That won't be necessary. I have some servants who can go retrieve your father, venerable sir, so he can meet you here. And he told his servant to bring my father to meet me. Go fetch Uta Nonrucha to meet his monk's son, named Venerable Ajarya Tun Kipapanyo, this instant. The servant hurried off. A while later, they had retrieved my father. He appeared ashamed as he walked toward me because his right cheek was slightly darkened. However, his left cheek appeared normal. As he approached, he turned so his left cheek faced forward. He was wearing the same clothes that he had worn when he died. Only after he had received the merit dedicated to him by his family would his clothing change. Once near, he sat down and prostrated in a normal manner. Then I asked my father, Do you remember me? He said, I do. I asked, Since you've been here, have they hit you? He replied, Before they used to hit me, but now they don't anymore. I asked, While you're here, do you still do chanting and mental cultivation, Pavana? He replied, I do chanting and mental cultivation, Pavana, every night without fail. I asked, your children and grandchildren made merit and dedicated it to you within the past three days. Did you receive it? He replied, I received three parts. The other part I didn't. I asked, Why didn't you receive all of it? What was the reason? He replied, Because the monks who received the offerings had tarnished morality, sila. I asked, The gamma that you must pay for now, is there much of it? He replied, there isn't much. The smaller karmic debts have already been repaid. All that remains is the group karma from killing an ox. Then I went to consult the Lord of Death, Yama. The majority of my father's karma has already been paid. There's only the karma related to a single ox. Seeing as how there's only small karma remaining, I'd like to make an alms request, Bintabata, that my father be cleared of this karma. Is that possible? The Lord of Death picked up a book to consult whether or not my father's remaining karma was substantial. Then he said, Actually, your father's karma is set to expire within the day, venerable sir. 
I will permit your father's karma to expire this moment. He wrote in another book, which was the book for those who had settled their karmic debts. In it, the day, month, year, and time that the karma had been paid off was recorded for evidence. The Lord of Death said, May I extend my deep respect for you, venerable sir, for coming all the way here to follow up on your father and to bless him. I turned to my father and asked, Do you want to ordain? He replied, I want to ordain. Then I grabbed a white robe from my bag and extended it to my father. He put it on. The instant he finished dressing, his skin changed. His face appeared fuller and his skin took on a healthy glow. He prostrated before me three times and said, My karmic debts have been paid off today. My son, may you tell the family that my evil karma has been paid. Tell those who are still living that they should cultivate lots of merit, bunya, moral goodness, gusala, and virtue, so that when they die, they will not have to suffer. He added, I am headed to a higher place now, and prostrated before me three times. After finishing his speech, my father soared up into the sky. I watched as he floated beyond the line of my vision. I knew that my father was destined for the fine material realm, Rupa Prama, because before he died, my father had attained meditative absorptions of the fine material level, Rupa Chana, on many occasions. However, before he died, his evil karma had shrouded this. That's why he had to contend with the evil karma first. Once the evil karma was paid off, the good karma, the merit and wholesomeness, appeared in his mind. The fine material meditative attainments, rupachana, also resurfaced. So he went to the fine material realm, rupa prama.